an opening statement? Yeah, great, great team win tonight. Um, outstanding back and forth affair. That's a very good club. Uh, you can see why they have the the numbers that they have. It's a dangerous lineup. Uh, so no surprise that they had an answer uh, for us as you know as we were trying to score and they were scoring and we were scoring and it was just you know one of those games. Uh, but uh, there was a couple of outside of the some of the big two out RBI hits from. Jimmy Overtop and Andrew Chufo and Jacob Hinder Leiter. Um, you know, there was a couple of really big storylines tonight. And one was Ethan Darden going in and putting three zeros up. And in his three zeros in the top of the frames, we scored six runs in the bottom. So he was a huge part of tonight's win. And great to see him uh, out there with just the body language and the attack and just his demeanor and just attacking the strike zone. Of, you know, just. So good to see, um, looking at just like a true competitor out there. And then speaking of true competitors, we all knew you couldn't keep Willie Taylor down long. And to think that he got a hit in his very first at bat of the season and then hasn't gotten a hit since until tonight and busted out in a major, major way with three homers. But the thing that, again, there's so many things that separate this guy from just being different but most people, most student athletes in a slump would, you know, would wear it on their sleeve and, and you would have not known it. He's continued to be a great teammate. He's pumped the other guys up. He's continued to work extremely hard. And so you just knew the game was gonna come back around to him. Uh, so a couple of really good storylines that, that were the difference in the game tonight, but very proud of both these guys. All right, questions for players? Will, did you ever feel like maybe you were pressing a little bit during that slump, or, or did you feel like it was just right there and some balls needed to start falling for you? No, not at all. Um, you know, the worm would turn eventually, and uh, just trust the process and just keep playing. That was the main part, and just keep believing. Uh, you know, the teammates get my back, the coaches are there for us, and um, just keep playing as a team. So eventually they would, they would fall, and, um, you know, what a, what a great game, both sides for us tonight. Ethan, what was working for you tonight? Um, I would say just pounding the strike zone. I mean, Coach preaches that day in and day out. The, the best pitching staffs in the world consistently pound the strike zone. So I just kept that in the back of my head and just was trying to stay locked in on Jimmy's glove the whole time. Can I ask the identity of this pitching staff coming together? And how are you guys kind of finding that identity early here uh, in the bullpen? Or not the bullpen, obviously, you start, but. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, it's still a little early. I mean, we're still trying to figure out. So some di some guys got it some days, some guys don't got it some days. But that's what the staff is for. And we're here to pick each other up and keep competing. What's it like to navigate that? Uh, day by day, really. Whoever's got it's got it that day. We'll talk about the series you guys have coming up this weekend. Obviously, you've been around this series a lot. What does this mean for the the program? Yeah, it's a big time, big time weekend. It's big time baseball. Um, South Carolina, Clemson, um, no better matchup in the country. Um, very good club we're going against this weekend. Uh, obviously, South Carolina guys on this team know how important it is, and um, you know it's going to be it's going to be very exciting. Go down there uh, opening Friday night and a great atmosphere, and um, then right down the road in Columbia again Saturday, and then coming here on Sunday. Um, you know, best one of the best weekends of the year. So the players just got to enjoy it and um, you know live in the moment. Compare the rivalry from the football side to the rivalry in the baseball side. It's it's pretty intense both places. You're one of the few that's been able to experience it both ways. Yeah, very similar. Um, you know, the fans get into it. You got a lot of distractions outside as a player. You just got to minimize the distractions and and focus. You know, it has the task at hand. Um, so it's very very fun. Weekend to play, and um, you know, going to be some energy that that needs to be kind of calmed down as a player, and um, you know, let that energy work for you. So it's going to be a great weekend. What does tonight's performance for you do, confidence-wise, kind of getting back, getting in the rhythm of, of what you know you're capable of? Yeah, just getting the confidence back as a team. Um, you know, last weekend we, we dropped a game to this guy, these guys um, before the, the South Carolina weekend, so. Um, you know, 
that's a good club over there. Um, credit to them. Got a, a great lineup, some uh, really good arms uh, in their pen. and um, So it just gives us confidence going into the weekend, and, and that's what it's all about in baseball. So um, can't wait to uh, head down to Columbia on Friday. Ethan, after experiencing the South Carolina series as a player for the first time <coughs> last season, how do you view it now? Uh, I'd say it's it's the best rivalry rivalry in sports. I mean, South Carolina versus Clemson. There's there's no better place to be and no better team to be on than Clemson, I believe. So I feel like it's hasn't really changed. It's still that that high energy, high focus coming into the week, and yeah, same as last year. Any other questions from the players? All right, thank you, players. Obviously, you used Gordon Darden today. Um, thoughts going into the weekend as far as your, your pitching rotation? We'll have everyone available. Um, you know, Gordon, I think, finished with 60 or so pitches, and Ethan, Ethan only had like 30. So both those guys will be available and, you know, should have uh, full staff. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll announce a rotation tomorrow and. Uh, but uh, it'll probably be the same, but having those guys available will be a luxury. What's it like to go from the first eight or nine games that you have in your season that, you know, there's one atmosphere and then like a switch this weekend, that atmosphere is totally different. Do you talk to your guys about managing the highs and lows in a, in a rivalry like that? Um, yeah, it's all part of that uncontrollable. I mean, we. We spend so much time in this room, you know, discussing mental game and all the things that can get us, you know, off of what we need to be centered on. You know, in this case, it's a very positive, you know, thing because it's we get to participate in the best rivalry in college baseball. Um, but you, it's there. There is an element of training of how to handle that, you know, so you, you, you know, you don't come all the way off. Um, where you perform at your best and there's going to be a lot of you know opposing fans and and you know things they'll see online and the media that will you know take them off of you know where where their best performance is and so it's just really about staying centered and the best way we can respect this rivalry is to play our best baseball and so uh, we we do we have the utmost respect for this rivalry um, it's a focus of ours 365 days a year. It's talked about in the very first team meeting. It's a, a true privilege to, to be able to participate on a stage with these lights and the stakes that are so high that means so much to so many people. And the way we can show that respect is to play well. Whatever happens, just you know, play well. But we're, we, uh, we don't just start talking about South Carolina uh, this week. You know, it's something that it's Clemson, South Carolina. It's you could put it up there. It's the best in college baseball. I know there's some good other good rivalries out there: Army, Navy, uh, Michigan, Ohio State. But this is the best I've seen in college baseball, uh, and it's not even close. To be able to have experienced it last year firsthand, so speaking on that, I mean, you've coached in some great places, and they all have their own respectful rivalries, but. Um, Well, I think it has a lot to do with the region of the country that we're in. Um, you know, you've got the Braves, but you know, you don't have a whole lot of professional sports, um, you know, throughout the Southeast. Uh, and so you have people that are extremely passionate about their colleges in a very good way. And so, you know, this is a, a state that's very much divided and you're either a tiger or a gamecock and so it's you know some houses are divided some you know it's just it's all good it's it's a great thing to be a part of when you can be a part of that so uh, i think it's great for our state especially when both programs are also very good and you've got a top 10 caliber matchup you know going into it that's what i remember being here 22 years ago i mean it was you know two of the top top teams in the country going at it and going at it again in Omaha and you know they got us in Omaha in 2002 uh, but that's you just that's 
Clemson's college baseball is Clemson, South Carolina, two of the best. Some of the guys on this team played for Coach Lee. Lee's now on the other side of that rivalry. What is what what, what does that dynamic bring to this rivalry when some of these guys were recruited by Monty and you know that's who they played for before you came here? What, what's, what does that dynamic bring? Yeah, I mean Monty's a great dude. I've known him for a, a long, long time, and he's well respected in the in the coaching community. I think everyone was more you know happy that he got to continue to coach, and so. You know, if you're separating out him as a person from the uniform he's wearing, it's, you know, understanding that he's a great person. Um, now, between the white lines, he's, you know, he's them and we're us, and, you know, the two programs don't like each other, but um, but it has, it, it's not going to take away from the respect that our players and our coaches have for him as a coach and a person. What is it to you that makes this rivalry the best in college baseball? I would say it's the um, it's the way the state rallies around these two schools, as well as any other state that I've seen in the southeast, or if not the country, for baseball. You know, baseball's one of those sports that it's not football and it's not basketball, but here. In this part of the country, it's it's a much bigger deal than a lot of other parts of the country. And so for the players that are lucky enough to be a part of one of those two programs where it feels like a football atmosphere uh, and you feel like, you, you, you know, this is a big time high stakes event and it's talked about all year long and there's bragging rights for all year long and it's just you know there's going to be packed houses and you know you got especially when both teams are good and so it's it's just different it just is um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the people that are so passionate about the schools uh, and you've got Clemson Tigers on one side and Carolina Gamecocks on the other but it's just good for our sport it's good for our state when both teams are good and when it's you know it's these close battles any other questions for Coach? All right, thank you, Coach.